This is ENB Outer News Broadcast. Now, here's Casey Madsen with the news. Good morning, I am Casey Madsen and this is EMB at 7.30. I am here with a report of a questionable coffee addiction at our one and only Oakton High School. Is there more to Mr. Aiken's coffee than meets the eye? Does he drink it for pure enjoyment or is there more? Is it just coffee to him or is it life support? What does Mr. Aiken mean when he says black soul? Here's Hannah Parker with the answers you've been waiting for. First, Mr. Aiken, why is coffee so important to you? Um, because it transcends reality. You have the metaphysical makeup of our cosmos, and coffee, um, though it's on the physical realm, transcends the physical realm and becomes metaphysical. That is why coffee is so important to me. That's a lot of big words you're using. Yes. You want to sum it down a little bit for our viewers, our young viewers? I love coffee because coffee is there. It's there? It's there. Do you like the taste or is it just something more? like? Coffee. Um, no, it tastes so good. It's the taste. It's the taste. And it's a taste that comes in, and it comes down your esophagus, and it ex goes down into your gut, and then it ex That sounds bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> coffee's just good. Okay. okay. There's a rumor going around that coffee is just not coffee to you. It's more. It might even be some sort of life support or polyjuice potion. It's, is it true? Is, it, is this your true form, or is it some sort of identity? Do you, oh, mean, do oh. you know what I mean by polyjuice? Oh, portion? I do, I do. Okay. Um, it's funny, because I really am a rabbit. You're a rabbit? And as a rabbit, um, I, ran, I ran across, or I jumped across this little cup of coffee, and I started drinking it, and then it turned me into this. That would explain a lot. Yes. And I'm not just talking about your ears. <laughs> Um, here's a quote that I picked up, um, quote, make it black, black like my soul. What do you mean by this? It, tell us, is it more, is there more to your dark drink soul? Drink? I'm, a, I'm an evil person. An evil person. I'm an evil person. <laughs> You're an evil bunny. I'm an evil bunny. That's exactly what I am. So my copy is dark like my soul. Some days, when I feel a little feisty or something, a little less evil bunny-like, um, I might put some like uh, soy milk in my coffee to make it a little, little, uh, little creamier. And those are my good days. Hmm. But normally, it's just black, black and evil bunny, Mr. Aiken Evil Bunny. Nice name. Yeah. When you're not a human, what color of a bunny are you? Um, I'm a chocolate bunny. You're a chocolate bunny. Yeah, there's a chocolate fur. You know, like the dark brown. You think it'd be a black bunny? Because coffee is the color of my soul, and yeah. But no, a, a chocolate brown bunny. I'm cute. You are? Mm -hmm. Is that why your wife married you? Well, she's secretly a bunny, too. She's a white she bunny, is. though. Yeah. All right, thank you for... You're welcome. All right, that's it. And that concludes the mystery of Mr. Aiken and his coffee. Back to you, Casey. The modern has just been caught. Sorry about that interruption, but I have just been informed of spotting of an unknown creature. This unknown creature has been notified as a half-man, half-elk. Wait, wait, I'm getting something. This isn't just a spotting of a monstrous half-man, half-elk, but an attack. Now, here's Hannah Parker live at the scene with more information. Thanks, Casey. Hannah Parker here at the scene where Josie Baker claims to have been trampled by strange half man, half elk creature at five o'clock last night. Miss Baker, what were you doing and where were you exactly when this horrible thing happened? I was on my way to play some basketball up on the tennis court when all of a sudden I hear this strange noise. What type of sound did it make? It was a Mmm, very eerie. And as I was saying, I heard this hound behind me and I turned to see this dark figure that looked like a man but had an elk head. My first thought was that some of my friends were just messing around with me, but when I 
saw the creature charge at me, I ran. Where did you go? How did you defend yourself? I ran to the tennis court, and when the monster dip got too close, I threw my basketball at him. But he was too fast. And that's when you got trampled? Yeah. The elk ran over the top of me. Now I have bruises up and down my back. After all that, I crawled my way to the court and safely locked myself inside. Wow. What an amazing story. I hope you get the therapy you need. <laughs> Thank you for your time. You just heard first at ENB. Back to you, Casey. Thank you for watching ENB at 7.30 and have a good night.